Ladies and gentlemen, Halloween Horror Nights Week 2024 is sponsored by Dubby. Thank you so much for Dubby for uh, allowing us to be a part of this family. I've been drinking Dubby now for a few years, um, and it's been just a really, really good drink. No crashes or anything with 10 different flavors, two caffeine-free flavors, and a bunch of other ways for them to have that ultimate energy drink taste. Now, not only do they have all their energy drinks on their site, like the powders, all that stuff, but they also include shaker cups, and they got a ton of merch. That is a lot of fun. We're going to be getting our hands on some of that merch really soon. But, yeah, use code Knights of Horror for 10% off your order. W.GG. Check out their store, all their amazing products, but let them know Knights of Horror sent you. And use that promo code Knights of Horror for 10% off now for your regularly scheduled program. So we've made it. It's time. It's here. Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood opens this week, as of this recording, of course, September 1st, 2024. Halloween Horror Nights opens this Thursday, and we cannot be more excited for Halloween Horror Nights this year. A lot of great properties coming to the event, originals, shows, the terror trams, scare zones, food, you name it. It is going to be here at Halloween Horror Nights. So you're probably asking yourself, Anthony, what should I know before I go to Halloween Horror Nights? Well, that's a great question because there is a lot you should know before you attend Halloween Horror Nights here in Hollywood. And this is going to be a little video of some of our tips and tricks that have helped us, worked for us, um, and, and whatnot. We, we came out with a game plan for general admission. Uh, and, you know, I know that in the, the last couple years, other tickets have started going up in wait time. So this could potentially work for those other tickets as well. Check that out, though. Hayes mapped out an incredible game plan, recapped her 2023 game plan to see if that worked, and then made a 2024 game plan, which we'll be testing out this week. So stay tuned for the official reveal and test of the game plan for 2024 live at, not live, but at Halloween Horror Nights. We're going to test it out, all that fun stuff. Day-night combo. Yeah, so know before you go. A couple tips that we just suggest to you guys. Uh, you can accept them. You can decline them. Completely up to you. Uh, this is just things that make our trip a little bit more enjoyable, a little bit more comfortable, and just all around a good time. Number one, the night you go to Halloween Horror Nights, make sure you check your local weather app, website, station, uh, TV guide listings. Um, because in Southern California, <laughs> in the last couple of years... Uh, weather has been very uh, hit or miss. Some days it's super hot. Some days it gets super cold. Some nights it rains for a little bit and it's humid. And then sometimes it just rains for a little bit and it's kind of cold. Uh, I don't know what October and September is going to look like this season. So far, it has been very hot. So I would say it's safe to say maybe for September, it might be pretty hot. I'm already looking for Thursday night. Uh, opening night for Halloween Horror Nights, and it's looking like it's going to be 100 degrees, almost, maybe in the 90s. Um, so dress according to uh, the weather that you're going to see. Of course, you're going to be arriving there early. We highly suggest that you get there early, um, maybe a couple hours before the event starts, so you can go to City Walk, get a bite to eat, uh, shop around, a uh, tribute store if you want to put everything back in the car before you go to the event. That way you save a little money on a locker. Uh, you can do that as well, um, but highly suggest to get there early, about an hour to two early, because honestly, the line, maybe even three, because the lines do get crowded uh, just for wait to get in. So get there early, plan an early arrival, and uh, dress comfortably according to the weather. Speaking of dressing comfortably, uh, wear some good walking shoes. In Hollywood, we have a lot of hills, especially going back to the Curious George area, and, of course, going down the escalators, up the escalators uh, for the lower lot, you know. And then the lines themselves, you're going to be standing in long waits if you're on a general admission. Or, um, you know, you're going to be standing in somewhat not too bad long waits in, like, Express if it's a sold-out night or whatnot. But just wear some comfortable shoes. I highly suggest some nice walking shoes or whatever walking shoes you feel are comfortable. If you If you can rock a pair of Vans all night and your feet don't hurt, go for it. 
I can't, so I have to buy, like, walking shoes of some sort. So, yeah, just wear some comfortable shoes. You're going to be walking around all night. Your feet are going to be hurting by the end of the night. It always sucks when you do the drive home and you just want to stay in the car and sleep, but your legs are just so tired. And then when you get home, it's so hard to get out of the car. So, yeah, just wear some comfortable shoes. Another thing is stay hydrated, too. Uh, now, I am a big guy. I do sweat a lot. And... um Water does come in handy. I don't know. I haven't been to the park in, since last year, but I think they still do refillable cups. So if you can get your hands on one of those refillable cups, that will save you a ton of money for the night. It actually will uh, benefit you throughout the night. Uh, and what me and Hayes usually do is we just find a fill-up station and we either just get water or Powerade. Uh, every now and then we'll get like a soda here and there, but we mostly just stick to water and Powerade just because we, one, want to stay hydrated, and two, electrolytes helps a ton. So... Um, yeah, stay hydrated any way possible, um, and, and whatnot. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty important one, and we can't stress this enough every single year. Um, uh, haunt, across all haunts across the world, um, you paid for a ticket to a themed experience event, uh, that has houses and everything under no circumstances should you... Uh, touch, hit, or harass any of the scare actors. They are also humans, and they also have a job to do, and that job is to scare you. You bought the ticket to come to the event, so don't get mad or punch someone if you get scared or or, or whatever it is, because it's just not going to end well for you. Uh, you're going to get kicked out of the park. You're going to pretty much blow... I'm assuming the cheapest ticket's like seventy to eighty dollars down the drain, uh, so just don't do it. it. It it never ends well for anybody, um, especially you if you decide to do it. So just just don't. Uh, you know, just go and enjoy it. Have a good time. Halloween Horror Nights only comes like once a season, and it's only here for two months, and then it's gone for another year. So enjoy it. Have fun. Have a good time. If you get scared, like it's okay to get scared. Just control your, control your reactions, you know, laugh it off if you have to, that's what I do, you know, that's, that's the fun part about it, you get scared, you laugh it off, like, damn, that, that was scary, they did a good job on that, you know, just have a good time, have fun, be responsible, you know, if you're driving, and you are deciding to drink, make sure you know your limits, and you know when to cut yourself off, so you don't get buzzed, and you don't drive under the influence, or, um, or whatnot, uh, and just be responsible, have fun, have a good time, and yeah, um, take advantage if you're doing a, um, general mission ticket of that early entry feature. I know it's an extra $10 now, but it will help you in the long run to get where you need to get, uh, at least a maze or two ahead. Uh, and that helps a ton, especially on when it gets later in the season, it starts getting more and more packed, the closer to Halloween. So you want to make sure that you get ahead of the game. You make sure you do everything you want to do and, uh, get in and get out. So yeah, take advantage of that for sure. Uh, I stated it a couple times in this video, but just have a good time. Have fun. Um, there's a lot of great properties at the event this year, uh, and there's something for everyone. You know, you got Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You have The Weeknd. You have Universal Monsters. You have Dead Exposure, Monsteros 2, A Quiet Place, Ghostbusters, uh, Frozen Empire, Insidious, um, The Purge Dangerous Waters, Late Night with Chucky, a brand new show that just got announced, uh, this past Friday or Thursday. And of course you have, uh, the terror tram, uh, and all these amazing scare zones. So have fun, have a great time, uh, and just enjoy it because, uh, like I said, Halloween Horror Nights only comes two months out of the year and then it's gone. And then we got to wait another year for it to come back. So, and have a great time. I, I always figure out a way every single year to have a great, a great time. And I do every single year I go to Halloween Horror Nights as much as I, say what I say on the channel and everything. When I go to Halloween Horror Nights, I'm like a kid again. I have a great time because Halloween Horror Nights was the haunt that got me into haunt again. Uh, when, I, when I went in 2008 to Not Scary Farm, I didn't last very long. I, re I redeemed that in 2011, and I had a fucking great time at Halloween Horror Nights. Been going every every year ever since. So I, uh, I truly love everything to do Halloween Horror Nights. I will support them to the day I die. Uh... I'm excited. We're, we're trying the day-night combo. I don't think I've ever tried the day-night combo, so I'm super excited. Uh, Hayes, and I is, Hayes and I are going to try that. We've never been to Super Nintendo World, so we really want to see that. That's probably where we're going to spend the majority of our time. 
But uh, we're super excited to do Day Night Combo. We're super excited to try out the game plan, and we just can't wait to go to Halloween Horror Nights just to kick off the haunt season. So if you guys see us opening night, don't be shy. I know I always look intimidating or anything. I, I'm just a I, I'm one of the chillest people ever. So if you if you see me, if you see me and Hayes, uh, come up to us. We'll take a picture. We'll say hi. Um, if the line is short and you guys want to jump in line with us, we'll go through a maze. You know, we'll have a great time. Halloween Horror Nights is always a vibe. We're gonna have fun, uh, and we can't wait. So, thank you guys so much for keeping up with us all week long for Halloween Horror Nights week. You know, we had a blast doing this. The team had a great time doing this. The team delivered on amazing videos. So, big shout out to Sammy, Robin, Hayes for stepping up and uh, executing some amazing videos for you guys this week. So, uh, very thankful to have them a part of the crew. Um, stay tuned. This week we got Halloween Horror Nights coverage coming your way this this next weekend, and then uh, we're gonna start our Knots Scary Farm week. So, stay tuned. We got a lot, lot in store. So. It's going to be a fun hot season. Until then, love each and every one of you. Stay spooky. In audio.